In other words, you're being replaced and there's nothing you can do about it. So shut up. <laughs> and with every passing year, there will be more people who look like me in the United States. You can't stop it. So take your racist replacement theory and shove it. Senior year college, Tucker Carlson. And it began with this clip on his show. Jeff Bezos had one of his minions, a mentally unbalanced middle-aged man called Eric Wempel, pull our dusty college yearbook and call around to see if we'd done anything naughty at the age of 19. That sounds like fun. Let us know if you hear any good stories. But before Bezos drops any more of his billions on opposition research, you should know that it will not affect any election outcome. This is a news show, it's not a political campaign. No one here is running for anything or plans to. In his college yearbook, he listed himself as a member of the Dan White Society. Dan White was the man who murdered Harvey Milk. And you can see there, we're gonna return to the Harvey Milk. Just first of all, because we need to understand who Tucker Carlson is. Understand that this is the actual picture that he posed for for his college yearbook. And I can't think of a more perfect representation of who Tucker Carlson is. Sometimes people say that he's like the stereotypical villain from all the 80s college movies. No, I think he's like the one person that both the jocks and the nerds in those movies would beat up. But anyway, we also have a close like up getting on punched it. in the face by a ghost. For years since he was in college, Blake posted anonymously on an internet message board for law school students. On Friday, many of those posts became public. Blake was horrified by the story and he was ashamed. Friday afternoon, he resigned from his job. We want to say a couple of things about this. First, what Blake wrote anonymously was wrong. We don't endorse those words. They have no connection to the show. This is uh, his actual entry in the yearbook. He was part of the Christian Fellowship, the Jesse Helms Foundation, and the Dan White Society. And as was pointed out before, Carlson would have been about nine when White assassinated Milk and Moscone in November 1978. These assassinations were a major story at the time, not only because they involved the killings of two government officials, but because Milk was the first openly gay person to be elected to office in the state of California. So he, like, you get what's going on here. So first of all, the yearbook is freely available online. You can check it and they have. There are no other references to the Dan White Society in that yearbook, implying if this makes it better that it isn't an actual society because I assume it can't be. It is just a thing that he thought would be funny to put in his yearbook, that he is part of a club that just looks up to a guy that he only knows about because he murdered a gay politician. That is what Tucker Carlson, the naughty thing that in senior year of college, by the way, he thought would be funny to be remembered for, for the rest of his life. That self-righteousness also has its costs. We are all human. When we pretend we are holy, we are lying. When we pose as blameless in order to hurt other people, we are committing the gravest sin of all, and we will be punished for it. There's no question. Doesn't matter, we can point this out, he is uncancelable. And we should have known that when after Media Matters found video of him referring to Iraqis as semi-literate primitive monkeys, didn't get canceled as a result of that. His audience likes him not despite these things, but because of them. When they find out that he looks up to a guy who killed Harvey Milk, he's probably gonna gain audience share. But it's just sick that we live in a country where you can become successful specifically because you are this utter piece of garbage like Tucker Carlson.